All right, hopefully you have all of the keys working to play all your classes on the screen. So this is basically how far you should be right now. If I press play, I should have a separate key for each piece of the drum set. And if you are working on symbol one, symbol one is a very short sound, so that counter needs to be just a little bit shorter. So I'll leave that up to you. Now, we're pretty close to having a really good drum set. However, we have a problem. Sometimes if we press the keyboard or press the key down a little bit too long, it plays our sound a little bit too long like this. And that might be cool for like a drum roll, but we really don't want that to happen on like our big bass drum or anything like that. So what we need to do is um, add a way to have Greenfoot only check to see if we're pressing the key once. What's happening right now is that Greenfoot is checking if the key is down while we're already holding it down. And it's doing that a lot of times per second. That's why we can hold it down and get a lot of sound like that. So to do that, we need to go into our drum world, and we need to add a little bit of code to each of our key presses. So up top, we're actually going to create a field. So I'm going to press enter a couple times, and up top I'm going to create a public boolean. And I try and name these smart. All right, I try to keep a naming convention so I can keep myself uh, organized. If you look, I use the letter A for drum one. So I'm going to create a boolean called A down, like that. I'm going to make that equal to false. So now a boolean is a, a, a field that can either be true or false. That's all it can be. So what I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have the computer check two things whether I'm pressing A and if my boolean is false. So I'll go and and A down equals false. And so what we have going on here is that Green, uh, Greenfoot's going to check if I'm pressing A on my keyboard and the boolean A down is false. Two equal signs means check to see if it is. Okay. So now once I do that and I compile this It'll, it'll work, it'll still work the same way, except I need a way to make this true after I press A. So to do more than one line of code at a time for an if statement, we can put curly braces underneath it, just like this. And you see this gray box it creates? That's Greenfoot telling us that if, when we do this if command, it's going to do everything inside here. So I can press enter and I can say, add the object, new drum one here and then I'm going to say make my boolean true so a down is going to equal true I'm going to press control shift I just to neaten up my code but now what happens is once I press a a becomes true and it will never be able to do this code again let's see if it works so I compile this I, tr I press it here I'm going to run it and I press a and I'm holding this down and it only played it once I'm still holding down a and it's just playing it once. Now the bad part is if I press A again, like right now, it doesn't work. So we have to add a little bit more to our code. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just add another if, or actually let's add an else if instead. So we'll say else if, and then in parentheses. And what we'll do is we'll actually take this whole line of code and we'll change it just a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. So if I'm pressing A and A down is true, we'll use that. But this doesn't make sense. I don't want to press A to have to reset the key. So instead, I'll put my mouse right in front of the word Greenfoot, and I'll put an exclamation point. An exclamation point means not. So now this says, if I'm not pressing down A, and A is true. And that's what this is going to be like after I let go of A. And after I do that, what I want to do is I want to make a down equal false. And so what this what will happen is when I press a, it'll put a new drum on the screen. It'll make a down true. So now this will never happen again. And then when I let go of a, it'll make a, and a down is true. It'll make a down false. So if I compile all of this, I'm gonna test my program here and I'm going to hold down A. It still only plays once but I let go of it and I press it again and it works again. Now you can press it really fast because Greenfoot checks a whole bunch of times a second. So right there I got my little drum roll. So now 
what you can do is go into the drum world and you need to create a boolean for each key that you pressed. So you can see I used A here, and S here, and D here, and F there. So up top I could create booleans for all of them. So I could copy and paste this, and I could make another one and just change it to S down. Okay, but I could also put my mouse in here, use a comma, and then just type D down. So now, and I could do a comma, I could do one more, F down. And so now this makes a whole bunch of booleans, three of them, and they're all equal false. So now what you should do is go through your um, act method here and add your booleans so that it checks whether uh, the key is pressed down. And if it is, it doesn't play the sound over and over again.